Welcome to Unit Circle Survival Guide. In this video, we will find an exact value using the SARC method. We'll find the secant of 2 pi over 3. So here's our template using SARC. So S, sketch the angle. A, ASTC, to find the sign, and that's just the acronym all students take classes. R, finding the reference angle and then using the special right triangle to find the coordinates that we should use. And then C, calculate the value. And we're doing that again for secant of two pi over three. So we start first by sketching the angle. So two pi over three is in the second quadrant, approximately here. And we know this because we start on the positive part of the x-axis at zero. And if we rotated a half rotation around a semicircle, we'd be at pi, or rewriting that as three pi over three could really help. So you see you would essentially divide this half circle into three pieces. One pi over three would be in the first quadrant, two pi over three in the second, and then three pi over three would get you to pi, or a half rotation. All right, so now that we have our angles terminal side sketch, we can move on to decide the sign for our exact value. And we use the acronym ASTC. And that just tells us which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. So starting in quadrant one, A, so all are positive. In two, sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive. Well, we're trying to find the secant, so we should immediately know our final answer is negative. We'll circle our negative here too. All right, so just to finish out, of course in quadrant three, you have tangent and cotangent that are positive. All others are negative. And in quadrant four, cosine and its reciprocal secant are positive, while all the others are negative. All right, so now we can find our reference angle and the special right triangle to get our unit circle coordinates for our calculation. So a reference angle is simply the amount of rotation from the terminal side to the x-axis. So we know our angle was two pi over three. So to get to three pi over three, you must rotate pi over three radians or 60 degrees. So we're dealing with the special right triangle that has a 60 degree angle as its central angle. Okay, so now that we know that, we can write the coordinates for the unit circle angle 60 degrees. And we're really just focusing here on the coordinates in the first quadrant because we've already decided our final answer will be negative. So that just eliminates a possibility of confusion with signs while we're calculating. All right, so our short horizontal side, our x coordinate is going to be 1 half, and our longer leg here will be root three over two. All right, so now we know our coordinates that we should be working with, and step four is to calculate. So we find the secant of an angle on the unit circle simply by the ratio one over x. It's just the reciprocal of cosine, which is the x coordinate when working with angles on the unit circle. All right, so that means we just need to take our x coordinate and find the reciprocal, or one over one half. So really it's easiest just to flip that fraction and two is going to be our secant. And of course it's negative two because we had already decided that the secant in the second quadrant should be negative. So the secant of two pi over three is negative two. For more worked examples of finding exact values with the SARC method, uh, check out the video description. There will be a link there, and good luck with your exact values. Thanks for watching.